Here when we get into the trigonometry and kind of more advanced learning, we have even larger angles that we deal with. And that can look a little weird at first. So here we have this initial side. Instead of opening up and stopping somewhere here, let's continue on and measure that angle all the way down. Let's just talk about an example coming down here. So let's call this the terminal side. Now, you might be tempted to talk about the angle measure in here. And you, of course, can take a look at that angle right here. But in general, you want to start at the terminal, at the initial side, and when you want to go in a counterclockwise direction. Remember, uh, clocks go like this, right? So counterclockwise goes the other way. So we want to take a look at the angle measure that goes through this. So if over here is 90 degrees, then over here would be 180 degrees. That makes sense, 180 degrees over here. And this is just a little bit bigger than 180 degrees. So in this example, this is 225 degrees. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.